This digital microprocessor can operate at a number of different frequencies, despite only having a single oscillator. The base frequency can be multiplied or divided using analog circuits. In this demonstration, we will build a frequency doubler based on a diode rectifier courtesy of freecircuitdiagram.com. A bridge rectifier consists of four diodes which route the negative half of the waveform to the positive side. Next, an operational amplifier, or op-amp, is used on each half of the rectifier in conjunction with a third to overcome the turn-on voltage of the diodes. Seen here are all the parts required to build the circuit. Here are the diodes used in the rectifier. A couple of different capacitors, these are ceramic, and this one is electrolytic. This is the op-amp, the integrated circuit, LM354. It contains four different op-amps. Two potentiometers, or variable resistors, used to trim the input and output signals. Also two quarter-inch jacks, similar to guitar jacks, used for signal input and output. Initially, we didn't consider the impact of impedance on the circuit and got no measurable results. <coughs> After connecting an electronic keyboard and high gain amplifier, waveforms began to be visible. This graph shows a typical input and output waveform for this frequency doubler. By changing a resistor value, we were able to get a slightly better result. The waveform isn't perfect, but the frequency has been doubled. Listen carefully the difference between the original and process signals. <laughs> I never used it. I didn't think it worked the same. You can easily hear that the process signal is one octave higher than the original. But how does the circuit perform over a range of frequencies? This graph shows the frequency response of the circuit. By adding trend lines, it can be seen that the circuit also acts as a bandpass filter, centered in approximately the musical range. Frequency multipliers are most often used to reduce the number of oscillators required on a chip and are also used in high speed circuits. Hopefully you have a more complete understanding of the ongoing usefulness of analog circuits at a time when digital circuits are dominating the minds of new engineers and designers. <laughs> oh, it sounds so terrible! <laughs> <laughs>